What's up, guys? My name is Google Wizard. Welcome back to Silver Creek Falls. And I think we should probably rewind and s s actually hear what happened last time. So, <clears throat> previously on Silver Creek Falls, we have arrived at the car crash scene and figured out that there was no missing bodies. Well, they were missing, but there was no one there. A bloody car, a note, and some and, uh, more shotgun shell casings. So, we figured, asking a few questions of why there was nobody in the car. Turns out, there might have been somebody in the house, down the road of the farm, that knows what is going on. He heard the crash, but didn't see it. We can probably ask him a few questions. Let's see. Alright, so today, what we're going to be doing, we are in the house of the farmer. I think it's the farmer we're in the house of. And we're going to ask him a couple questions. I'm not sure if he is even in the, the house, but he might be. And is that is that a gun? I think this might be a gun. Gun on the bedside table? Pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crime around here, deputy? No, not really. Pretty peaceful down these incidents. Incidents are the first serious things you hit this town since the tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yep. It was pretty bad. Some local businesses had to leave. Actually, the U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Did they end up buying? Nah. The tornadoes dissuaded them pretty fast. Oh. Also, a lot of that land was in contention. Apparently, the family thought family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah. Apparently, years back, we they bought it off the Cherokee tribe. I told you earlier. Apparently, they swind swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. Interesting, interesting. It is interesting. This guy has a really nice table. Really nice. A really nice bed, too. It, besides, does this guy have water stains on his bed? I think that might be just part of the bed. Nice lamp you got. Nice paintings, too, man. I wish I had your house. Some nice flowers. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can I do anything over here? All clean. Interesting guy. All clean. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Alright. Let's see. Full fridge. If he was planning to disappear, he would have emptied this out first. Oh, would he? I'm thinking he might have, but he couldn't. Unless he is here. It has to be only one explanation. He is here. But let's see, a note? Well, and a key? So unusual. Another note. Again? Different handwriting this time. What does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 3, 6, John 6, 34. That's from the Bible. Let, let's see if we can find one. The sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there is a Bible around here. No add to inventory. Good, good. He's a religious. Relig I can't talk. He was a religious man. It's a set of keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think those are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. Those aren't his house keys either, as they don't look like the cop I have. Best we hang on to these. Keys added into inventory. Besides, it, I don't know why he has a bunch of guns. Man, this guy was packing heat. Eh? I am I, there's an eagle, the red M9 and Remington 870 shotgun, all reliable classics. Wow, you know your guns. I'm in America, I have to. <laughs> Look on his face, he's so smug. Can I get over here? I don't think I can get over there at all. Get some nice lamps, dude. Photos from Antarctica. Can I, no, I can't look at those. Can I move? Oh my gosh. Wait. My bad. I accidentally clicked out my game. I should keep my hand off of my mouse. I really should. I, I see the problem. I'm hitting my mouse. Well, my touchpad keeps clicking out of the game. Yeah, I just leave that out of the, the recording. Fire extinguisher. I guess this guy was really... Ready for anything, eh? Almost too ready, right? Almost too ready. And there's another gun on top of here. 
Look, lots of books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. Check Bible. Check passage in Bible. Yes. John 6, 3, 3, 4. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. I wondered that, what that could mean. Most likely something to do with the keys since he obviously left those for someone to find. Oh yeah, the sheriff was in a storage unit somewhere. This might be the clue as to where... As to where what? You didn't finish your sentence, man. You really didn't. Can I look on the TV? No? Is this a box I can check? There's probably some stuff I didn't miss. I don't think I missed hardly anything. Camping equipment. Tin food. Waterproofer. Purifiers. Flints. Hunting knives. This guy was ready for Armageddon, eh? Sheriff. The Sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger. The outdoors is in his blood. U.S. Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. Pretty interesting on site, too. It's really, and he has got a nice rug. Is this the shape of a T? It is. A, it looks like it's the shape of a T, and it's the shape of a, a table. That's really interesting. I'm better, I need to shape the kitchen, too. I'm. Yeah, I'm exploring a lot. That's what I need to do. Alright, everybody. Follow the leader. We're gonna follow the leader. I already went in this room. Let's go outside. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Alright. Where do you think Lee Davis' storage unit is? Fisher Lane Taylor storage unit? I think it would be... I think it would be like a Taylor. I don't think the storage unit is there. A Tinkerer? I don't think the storage unit is there. Okay. Oh, Baker. I get it. From the Bible, yes. Of course. Then go to the Baker. Alright. Head into the Baker. Let's see what we can get ourselves into now. Let's see what we can find. This right here. This is it. This is it. He even labeled it for us. What's inside? Bios on all victims and some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man. This car is only a year old. No tape player. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel to check it out. Cool. I'll have... I'll have... Not have... I'll leave you with the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Lee Davis. Files, if that's okay. Please do. Zed stays and the inventory. Good. I'm gonna... Yeah, we can... No, not really. Can we look around? Nah, I don't... Yeah, there's no way to look around. Okay, let's just go back out. Alright, everybody. Let's cruise on down the road. Cruising. We're cruising. Yep. Alright, see you. See you too, man. Meet you up later. Let's hook up soon. Give me a call. Alright. So, back at the hotel, and let's see what this is. I need you to play Lee Davis. Tate, let's go back to my car first. Oh, whoops, I gotta go back to the other one. Alright, back to your car. Let's go this way. Hut two, one, two, three, four. Hut two, one, two, three, four. Hut two, and we are here. Alright, so it turns on the car, and it's says Lee Davis Tate. That is something very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present, and every scene, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, am I to assume that a murder has taken place, and the bodies disposed of perfectly? This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece is finding out about the victim of the car accident. Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham a few days ago. 
The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. The notes I'm finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe that the answer lies in finding the correlation between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I am not safe. For the past few days I have felt a presence around. Someone watching. Someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this, okay, guys, it's not hard to I'll have to cut it here, you guys. I'm sorry if this if you can't hear all this, but thank you guys for watching the video. The if you like the video, tap that like button, and we shall meet again. See ya! Bye bye!